Hey YouTube, how's it going? You know, I wonder, what are some of your guilty pleasures? Now, just for the sake of argument here, to define guilty pleasure, in this particular case, I'm talking about, well, in terms of food, a guilty pleasure is some food that you absolutely love to have. Whether you have it very often or not, doesn't matter. But it's something that you love to have, but that you know you shouldn't. You know that you shouldn't even like it in some cases. Like for example, I know, we all know, all the nasty things that people say about McDonald's. I mean, I call them McNasties for good reason. But, guilty pleasure time. The McDouble. A simple, plain double cheeseburger for $1.49. I love the things. I know, McNasties, McNasties, it's nasty, all that. I don't care. I love the things. They're great. And so is the Quarter Pounder, but I couldn't begin to tell you when was the last time I had a Quarter Pounder. Those things are almost five bucks a piece now. That's crazy. And that's a guilty pleasure I don't indulge, because five bucks for one sandwich? Are you kidding me? Ugh. Anyway, here's another guilty pleasure for you. Taco Bell tacos. Now, I know, Taco Bell. It's like the Mexican-American, Texican, whatever version of McDonald's, you know. It's, it's El Nasty and all that, you know. I know all the things people say about it. And I wouldn't be surprised if most of it was true. It doesn't matter. The Taco Bell tacos. Not any, not, no, let's not get all crazy with all the fancy stuff. Just the plain old-fashioned tacos. And when they came out with the soft tacos, that was like, oh, wow. I have got to have me some of that. And uh, every chance I can. Which isn't very often. Because... Uh, when you don't have much money, you don't spend very much on out or anything like that. But once in a while, Taco Bell tacos, they absolutely rule. And I know it's Taco Bell. You're not supposed to like Taco Bell. I don't care. <laughs> uh, here's another one for you. Spam. Not the kind you get in the email. Not the kind where robots call your phone and try to sell you stuff you don't want. Spam. Hormel spam. And I know it's uh, not quite as back room as it used to be. The time was that spam was one of those back room poor man things that people ate it because they couldn't afford anything better. And now it's more expensive than, uh, than, uh, than a lot of things. <laughs> Once in a great while, spam. It's particularly good fried. With some sliced tomato and some cheddar cheese on a sandwich. Whole wheat bread, pumpernickel, some kind of thing like that. Great. Fantastic. Oh... Uh, guilty pleasures that I don't indulge anymore, like, for example, the Crunchy Cheetos, the original Crunchy Cheetos. And it's got to be the Frito-Lay brand Cheetos, the original, actual Cheetos Cheetos. Uh, I think they're Frito-Lay, aren't they? Anyway, those things are fantastic. They are awesome. But they're so hard crunchy that I can't, I can't do that anymore. Once in a great while, like maybe once so far this year, something like that, I might try to have some, and it might take me a week or two weeks to eat the bag of them, which is ridiculous, but it's true because it hurts to eat them. Yeah, here's another one, pretzels. 
Now that's a heck of a thing for a guy that's got teeth problems and can't handle the crunchy things and whatnot. And pretzels is another thing that lasts me a long time. I get a bag of pretzels, they last a while. Because it hurts to eat them. And in spite of that, I love the things. Always have. And then there's things like chocolate covered cherries. My annual indulgence in chocolate covered cherries is a thing that's been a fact for a long time. And, and it is pretty much annual because they're like chocolate wrapped around cherries with sugar everywhere. <laughs> Not something a diabetic should indulge in very often or very much. So that's a few of my guilty pleasures. How about you? What are your guilty pleasures? Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'm out of here. Mr.